So, guys, a um, bit of a treat for yourselves today. Um, not just for you, it was a treat for me, to be fair, as well. Easter Sunday, I woke up to no chocolate. Not like I do that anyway. But I'm pretty sure I have somewhat better. Right, um, yesterday, guys, I actually reviewed a beer called Body Pop. Now, Body Pop is something I first tried three years ago at the Nottingham Beer Festival at the Castle. And I must have spent all my tokens on this body pot because it was just somehow else. It really was so tasty. Um, you know, very, very big punch smack in the face. It's actually from a brewery, Urban Chicken Ale, which are probably about three miles from my house. So very, very local brewery. You know, you've got to support your local breweries, haven't you? Um, <clears throat> based in a little mine in town, ex mine in town, sorry, um, Ilkeston or Ilson, as the locals know it. I call it Ilson because I actually work up there as well. Now, Urban Chicken Ale, been going, I think, maybe in its fourth year now, commercial. Um, Darren, the head brewer, he starts off with a home brewer, as we all are, and he just been knocking ales out now. You know, as soon as they're out there, they go. They really, really do. You know, whether it's cask in the pubs or the bottles, it's limited release. You know, you get your hands on one, you know, you've made it. You really bloody have. Um, because I actually tried to get my hands on a couple of these last week from a local outlet, but they went so fast. And I know they'll do another release um, somewhere else was. Um, I think another outlet in Nottingham it was. And I got in there straight away and I bought two of the body pops. Now, this is the Body Pop, obviously what I had at the Nottingham Beer Festival. It hasn't been released since. Um, but now, March, April 2020, it's gone back out there again. I can still smell it. From yesterday, I really can still smell it. I really can. I put a picture up there. What it was all about. The colour of it was lovely. So, so hazy, as you can see. Um, obviously, it's brewed with oats and that nice dose of wheat malt as well flavor wise totally reminiscent from the beer festival because it took you back it uh, it was a smack in the face of pops maybe now it's revamped it more far as my way and it is really really punchy but it went down a right tree i'm not sure what hops are involved you know i'm not too great on Picking it out, but it's something like a Simcoe style, so it's a very, very stone fruity, um, real, real juicy. But then I tell you something, it gave a lovely, nice lacing on the back end of, um, you know, creaminess. But then there was a bite, a bitter bite. Now, it was almost a bitter bite, as in like a pink grapefruit, if that makes sense. It's like a breakfast juice you have in the morning. And it just kept me going back for more and more and it didn't hang around long. I've drunk both bottles now, so I'm a bit wounded. I need to get my hands on some more or maybe get the recipe. Who knows if I'm that lucky. But I want to showcase this. Mad Van Mild. Madagascan Vanilla Mild 4.2%. Now, I had a bit of ale last night. Don't get me wrong. Doing a bit of a quiz on house party with all my mates, a bit of fancy dress, stuff like that. And midnight went to bed and I woke up with a right sore head today. All I need now is an ale. What better off to start it off with this? Just a nice dark brown ale. Let's go. So, we'll talk a bit about the bottle design in a minute. Oh, fuck. Didn't mean to swear them. Right, I'm going for a nice bitter glass to pour it into. So it's bottle condition, or Darren's beers are bottle conditioned in the bowls. So I'll be careful with the pour, just to you know, make sure you leave the last little drop in, I guess. Look at that. What a colour for a mile that is, eh? That's how I expect that lovely, deep, dark, ruby colour. You can see the red lacing all the way throughout that glass. Lovely. Small finger of a cap. Colour is very, you know, off-white, nice little beige, creamy colour. 
love the deep roastiness, but you've also got that sweetness of Madagascan vanilla coming through. Cheers, Darren. That's Easter in a glass right there. It really is. Who needs a chocolate Easter egg? Have chocolate malt instead. Wow. That is lovely. Really, really is lovely. So smooth. Ever so delicate. Really is. Um, there's not too much bitterness here. Nothing you do expect. You do get that lo them lovely roasty malts. That vanilla. The smooth sweetness of the vanilla laces your tongue you know back you throw another one that keeps you going back for more that's so delicate that is yeah that is what i need especially on a hangover um i've actually got a couple of bottles of these and that's what i said to darren chat to him now and again and i said you know the other one i may save till you know, maybe autumn time, have it around the fire pit, something like that. A bit aged, lovely then, right, half a year old, and I'm sure it would have only got better with age. Mmm. Out of the two, definitely the mild for me, simply because I'm more of a dark ale, bitter, you know, porter fan, very, very ruby ales, I love anything like that. Um... But the body pop, don't get me wrong, that was something out as well because especially on a hot day, you know, if you like session IPAs, you want some a sipper on a nice screaming hot day, definitely, definitely look out for that, please, because it's is really a real treat. Um but that is ever so nice, it really is. Carbonation is spot on as well for a mild. It's not um it's not over carb, you don't want nothing smack in there, do you? Um, too fizzy. I bet that is absolutely a dream on cask. I bet that really is. Thank you so much, Sarah, mate. You know, I really, really need to hook up with you, mate. Come and check your brewery out, your little daft um, brewery, as you as you call it, um, or your little daft garage. What is it? Give you a couple of my home brews. See what you make out of them and maybe we'll get you to do a review as well who knows if you want to know more about urban chicken ale guys what i'll do i'll put a link down below to when the derbyshire telegraph actually visited them um like i say just brews our little residential garage in ilson and i think it, it may be in last year or year before i'm not too sure yet but the link will be down below and it'll tell you all about them they even do a nice bit of merch as well Here's my blade. I ordered that, you know, um, when they first come out, and the following day, I think it was his missus um, actually dropped it off, and it must have been around about half past seven, eight o'clock in the morning, ever so early. And I was like, "Who's this girl walking down my blue drive?" You know, I looked her eyes on me. I thought, "Please don't knock on my door, please." <laughs> so, but you know, she posted through like a box. God bless her. And yeah, got me some nice bit of merch, you know. Thank you so much, my friend. I'll be in touch soon, and hopefully we'll hook up. Cheers, guys. Darren, keep knocking these up, mate. You'll go far. You really will, pal. Cheers.